Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to check for the permission and how to request for the permission in Android. So first of all, you can just click on new project over here. You can choose the empty activity and you can click on next. Here you can just give the name of your application. I'm giving the name of my application is that is permission demo. So I'm writing here that is permission demo. And here you can just click on finish. Now once the Gradle sync is finished, you need to follow the four step. Step number one, write the permission in Android manifest.xml. So here I'm just opening the manifest.xml file. Here just to use the tag and that is uses permission. Now which permission you want? I want the permission that is for example send SMS so I'm just writing here that is a send SMS so this permission is declared in a Android manifest file this is the first step step number two that is check for the permission it is already granted or not so you can say that the check for the self permission so here you need to move to the main activity dot java here you can just write that is integer p1 is equal to here you can write activity compat dot check self permission is the function here you can provide the first argument that is main activity dot this so this is my current activity name second argument which permission you want so i want the permission that is a send sms so I'm writing here that is a manifest. Please make sure that you need to select the package which is Android. So manifest dot permission dot and the permission name is that is a send SMS. Make sure that this permission must be matched with the Android manifest permission which is a send SMS and here also it is send SMS. Make sure that whenever you are selecting here manifest, your package name must be android.manifest. Now, this p1 variable is initialized. Now, here you can just check if p1 not equal to package manager dot permission granted. It means that if user has not granted the permission, then request the permission. So this is your step number three. What is the step number three? If user has not granted the permission, then request for the permission. This is the step number three. Now I need to request for the permission. So I'm writing here that is activity compact dot request permission. Now here you need to provide the activity. So I'm writing here that is main activity dot this second argument that is the string array of the permission so here you need to provide the string array so i'm just making enter over here and here i'm writing the permission name and that is using the string array so i'm writing here that is a new string array which permission so i want the permission that list will be available over here inside the array so i'm writing here that is manifest dot permission dot send sms now here the third argument in this request permission function is that is request code here you can write any request code for example i am writing 999 so i just need to match this 999 in a on request permission result function so this is what the code for the request permission it means that if the permission is not granted then request for the permission but what if it is already granted so here you can say that else if it is already granted then definitely we need to give the access to our application so i'm just calling the function that is access app this is my user defined function so it is not available over here so i need to create the function so you can just create this function over here after this on create so after on create here you can write public void access app so this is my function is created over here. You can write the code for the access app function over here. Now, 
here you can just write the toast so here you can select toast and create the new toast so here you just need to provide the message this toast will be displayed in a current context up to sort duration and here you can just put the message and the message is congrats you can access there so this is the code but what if user click on allow or deny so this is for the requesting the permission if user is granting the same i'm calling the function but this will be called if and only if the permission is already granted what if user click on allow or deny so whenever user click on allow or deny you need to override the function on request permission result so that is the step number four so here step number four is what the step number four is override the function on request permission result and for what this function is for allow and deny so override the function on request permission result for allow or deny functionality so whenever user click on allow or deny that code you need to write in this function that is on request permission result so here you can just override the function so here after this on create you can just write on request permission result so you can select this function this is inbuilt function here you can just write the condition if request code is equal equal now if request code is this one that is triple nine it means that this request is coming from this particular portion if request code is equal to triple nine and and grant results of zero why array because it is a string array maybe a chance user can pass multiple permissions over here so if grant results of zero equal equal package manager dot permission granted it means that if user click on allow then call the function access app here you can write else if if user does not click on allow then what you want to do so if user does not click on allow it means that not equal to permission granted then just print the toast over here and that is you can just create the new toast and here you can just write the message that permission is required you have clicked on deny so you can just write here that you clicked on deny button but this permission is required to access the application now you can just run the application and you will get the effect over here it is asking me allow the permission demo to send and view the sms messages do you want to allow it if you click on allow then this access app function will be called and if you click on deny then this toast will be displayed you can click on deny here you will get the toast you clicked on the deny button permission is required now you can rerun this particular application and here you will get the same request again why because i have not granted the permission if you have not granted the permission it will request again so it is requesting me now if i click on allow then this access app function will be called so let me click on allow so i'm getting the message congrats you can access the app now suppose if you run this particular application again then again you will get the same message congrats you can access the app why because now permission is granted if permission is granted then this access app is called so if you click on allow or deny at that time this function is called and if permission is already granted then this will be called if the permission is not granted then this code will be called so there are four steps to request for the permission step number one write the permission in android manifest step number two check for the permission step number three if it is not granted then request for the same step number four write the code for allow and deny in a on request permission result so this is the way you can implement the functionality of permission in 
android application and these are the steps that you need to follow so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day